was just using up some of these scraps from my um, acrylic pour um, exercise from a couple of weeks ago now and these were the pieces that I um, scraped from the bottom of the pan because I really when I was doing the pours I did really didn't want to waste all that lovely pigment and I ended up with about five of these on Hewlett Packard um, gloss photo paper and they dried up very well and I was very pleased with them and I was sort of wondering what to do with them um, am I going to make them into jewellery but I don't really have a need for that you know the pendants and other items but I don't really have a need for that and today I just thought I'll give them a coat of the estopole that I'm using to coat the panels that we did uh, there's one there that's it's been coated with the estopole um, just what we had and it's given it a nice finish it's only had I think maybe one maybe two coats that one but it's given it a good enough finish to seal the surface and to give it a nice nice sheen and so I got out the estopole again and coated these I think they were um, 10 by 15 centimeter pieces of photo paper it was very old and I really just wanted to try it and I'm very glad I did because these have turned out very nicely and I'll try that again here's a couple that I've already made I've just trimmed the sides of the little panels just because some of them had where they were resting on the newspaper they had little scrappy edges so I've trimmed the sizes out and this little one is a bit smaller because I'd punched out to make a um, pendant with it and so I just trimmed it down put it onto some gold cardstock because all of these have got a tiny amount of gold in them and particularly around there and there and I thought they make really nice little cards you know they're not tremendously wonderful but it's a good use for them I quite like the look of them I like the abstract look I've got a friend who's a sea baby she likes swimming and so I thought one of these might be nice for her next time I write and this little one's turned out quite nicely too again it looks like waves so I've just made those into side opening cards and I'm just trimming these out to, to treat them in the same way and I just thought I might as well turn the video on because I quite like the way they look and all I do was adhere them down with double sided tape onto some I've used the gold as I say because of the gold in the acrylic pour and I'll just go through and trim these out I really do need a a new one of these Tim Holtz centering rulers because this one is so worn I've lost nearly all my um, markings but I can still use it to trim these out and for me being a little bit shaky um, this is the easiest way I've found to get um, get the even border around the um, piece of cardstock I tend not to do it on my any of my paper cutters because I find I invariably trim one side shorter than the others and end up trimming it all away because I can't get them to match but doing it this way and using the the Tim Holtz ruler I just follow the line this is the first um, little dotted line behind the metal edge and you just have to run the blade along there and it cuts it very nicely so that's all it is it's just a quick tip today on using up the extra paint from an acrylic pour if you like me and think you don't like the thought of the waste there's another little way of using it and I quite like the look of them very plain and simple. I think if you're putting a sentiment on, I'm not going to put any sentiments on these when I finish them, but um, 
you know, words perhaps on a, a coloured background would look quite smart. Cut this down um, and perhaps pop that up with some um, very small um, double sided foam that can be peeled off if someone wants to keep the little piece of um, poured acrylic. They could just pop that off if they wanted to keep it. So there we go. That's it for today. I was going to make them into bookmarks, but then, you know, so many people re actually read a book these days that bookmarks are going to be a thing of the past. Um, and I've got far more use for these cards. I can just send them out um, for any number of occasions. And there's a little bit of a smell from the, the Esther Pole at the moment because I've only just done these this morning. By tomorrow that will be completely gone. So there you go, that's today's little thought on other ways to use up your acrylic pour leftovers. Bye for now.